Good morning. Uh, are you? Yeah. Uh, my name is Ng from Offset Instrument. Okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. I came to see you is because of our this uh, meeting for this coding dinner stages. Oh, okay. Uh, presentation and also a discussion. Okay. Okay. Right. Correct. Right. So can we probably uh, have okay, a seat? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Idea. Yes. Uh, this is my name card. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. I will give you later. Oh okay. sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, just basically to check. Uh, idea. Are you uh, handling this uh, quality uh, control? Yes. Okay. Great. And then what is your this product? Before we go on, I I wish to basically know. Uh, what is your company dealing with, and what do you actually need to measure? Uh, the panel. The panel. Yes. Can I have a look? Yes. Sure. Oh, okay. So I want to make sure this panel. Okay. All right. Can I have some basic information like, uh, what is this uh, base material? Uh, this uh, metal. Metal. Yeah. Is it mouse steel? Yeah, mouse steel. Mouse steel. Okay, great. I suppose it is pain. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How thick it is? Do you uh, have any ideas? No idea. No idea. Yeah. No problem. Uh, I, I actually brought along the uh, coating in this case. We can do the measurement. Okay, shortly. Sure. Okay. 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 Mr. Ideal, yes. uh, there is one thing I also need to uh, let you know about our company okay. right, before we go on. Uh, my company is Offset Instruments. Right. Uh, we have established more than 16 years. Okay. Okay. And we have grown from a very small company uh, to right now we are serving, uh, I think we have a uh, customer base of more than 5,000. Okay. Okay. And many of these customers actually recommend customers to us. Right. Yeah, this is one. And uh, for information, uh, this coating in this case which I'm going to show you to you is actually uh, this model. Uh, this. Uh, this this is actually from a maker called Electrophysic. Okay, okay. It's actually a company established in uh, more than sixty years. Mm -hmm. okay. And this company is actually very uh, specialized. And for the past sixty years, they are actually the inventor. And they are also the innovator. Why? Uh, their product actually every every two three to five years they will innovate, meaning they will they will actually add in the new technology inside. Okay. Uh, then for the most recent one, they actually come up with this uh, technology called SIDSP. Okay. Okay. What is so great about this uh, SIDSP uh, technology? They actually patent this technology. Now this technology allow the accuracy to become one hundred percent better uh, okay. compared to the previous version. Okay. Right? Now, how good is the accuracy? It is actually not now plus minus 1% plus 0.75%. Right. In the past, it's actually 2 micron or three or 2 to 3 micron plus another 2 to 3% of accuracy. Oh. So with this technology, they have uh, made a very, very big advance. Okay. Okay, in terms of accuracy. Yeah. All right. So uh, for this model, I've actually brought along uh, this model, which I think is actually suitable for your, this application. Okay. All right. And this model is actually Minitest 720. Which is actually uh, this, whereby the sensor actually uh, uh, built in. Okay. Okay. At the uh, equipment. Okay. All right. And to use it is very simple and straightforward. Oh, simple. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, the moment you turn on, all button is actually here. Okay. Once you turn on, and you shall see this uh, backlight. Okay, and straight away we can do the measurement. Oh, okay. Uh, you notice the reading actually taken, and also the reading changes, and it show that it has taken three readings. Oh. And upper left arrow show that maximum reading, minimum reading, okay. and this actually show the average. Oh, average. And standard deviation, standard deviation actually uh, 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 tell us, uh, how much is the reading? Deviate from the average result. Okay. okay. Meaning, the smaller is the reading, okay. the more consistent is the coating. Alright. Ah. Uh, okay. Now, uh, if you want to measure more, then the reading will just uh, accumulated. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the advantage of this? Uh, it allows us to reduce our time in uh, taking down the reading manually. Oh, okay. And uh, with this interface. You can actually link it to computer. This is actually infrared interface, okay. Okay. all right. And you can, the moment once you link to uh, this uh, uh, computer ready, you can download those result. Okay. Uh, you can print out or you can store it as a soft copy in a computer. Okay, all right. Ideal. Yes. Uh, this button here is actually allow you to to do more. When you press this statistic and press this OK, it actually show the full statistic. Okay. All right. Full statistic. What does it mean? Uh, it, it, Again, it tells us the number of reading, maximum, minimum, average, standard deviation, plus this variation percentage mm -hmm. from the uh, 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 what they call the average. average. All right. 
So it is actually very good for you to uh, to to for some uh, statistic keeping. Escape from here. You press down further reading. You can actually view through the reading that you have taken here. You know, and then see that this number. First reading you have first reading taken, second reading, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the reading. Okay, all right. And and if you want, you can actually print out. Okay, you can you press this print. You can print out all those reading. Okay. Print okay. So idea. Sometimes yeah. you need to uh, delete the result. Okay. okay. You just press this. Then you go on to this delete. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then you just press OK. okay. It will actually ask you whether or not yes. You just select yes and press OK. Okay. So you have delete, deleted all the result. So it becomes zero again. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Now, um, and this also has one uh, advantage. So sometimes. You know, for 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 this uh, panel uh, measurement taking, you can actually read reading something like this. But sometimes we may be we may be reading some structure, okay. okay, and you may need to take reading in this manner. So sometimes it may not easy for you to take result, am I right? Yeah. To to read the reading. Okay. So you can press this button. Oh. You can see. So one eighty degrees. Ah, so this display will actually inverted. Ah, uh, allow you to read take reading in uh, this manner. Okay. Okay, so easy for you to read. And in order to change back, so when you want to take reading like this, so it may not be uh, easy, right? You just uh, press this, your input. Oh, alright. Okay, alright. So, and then you may notice uh, it has this uh, display backlight. Okay? okay, and this allows you to actually take reading even though the environment is dark. Okay. You know, sometimes in factory, yeah. it can be quite dark. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so this is one of the advantage. Okay. Right now, what you need to measure is actually only on uh, pin yeah, or the mouse here, yeah. right? But sometimes you may be required to measure different shape. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's no longer panel, but it's in terms of rod. Okay. Okay. And sometimes in terms of tube. Okay. Right. For this type of shape, you may need to do calibration. Oh, okay. All right. Why? Because uh, this equipment actually work on this uh, magnetic induction. Okay. All right. And how accurate is this equipment? To, to perform the measurement actually depend on how accurate you can actually calibrate the unit. All right. And one of the requirement is different material and also different shape. Okay. You will need to calibrate differently. Why? The magnetic the magnetic field generator when it actually in contact with this panel and when it actually in contact with this uh, rod, it's actually different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's actually different. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Okay. okay, so the thickness is not it, it's not eighty point two micron. It's also not hundred thirty six. Okay. okay, so we will need to do a uh, calibration. Yes. All right. Now, uh, allow me to do calibration okay, sure. and show it to you. Okay. Uh, in order to do a calibration, we should actually activate this calibration button. Okay. Okay. And first step, we measure on this uh, uncoated uh, substrate. Then we just press enter. Okay. 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 All right. And then we use the uh, First foil, this is supposed it need to be a lower lower thickness, it is okay. 29.1 micron. Then we put on top of this, then we measure. Okay, then we adjust to the reading that we that is actually tally. Okay. okay. Then right now we actually supposed to measure on a thicker. Okay, say we get a 78 micron foil, then we measure. Then we reduce the reading to 78. Okay, then press enter. Okay, then press add okay to okay. confirm the result. Okay. Now, this meter is right now calibrated, and if we want, we can actually verify the result. Okay, All right, okay. 76. Right. This is actually uh, closed. Uh, the reason for the fluctuation, it is actually uh, sometimes due to the dirt, okay, right, okay. or the surface roughness, okay, okay, or should we are not satisfied with the result, we can actually calibrate the thing, okay, okay, All right. So, uh, in order for us to measure on this, we can clear the previous reading first by uh, pressing statistic. Then we go down to uh, DD, mm -hmm. enter, okay, enter. So reading all deleted, then we can start to do a new batch of measurement. Oh. Okay. okay. Alright. Uh, ideal. Okay. Uh, this meter actually having two more function. 
that I need to actually explain to you. All right. Now you may have a different shape of uh, item that you need to actually measure. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it can be flat. Sometimes it can be tube. Okay. okay circular. And this you will need to actually calibrate differently. Okay. Now this meter that has this a uh, batch memory up to ten, up to ten batch. Okay. All right. What is the advantage? It, this advantage is allow you. After you calibrate on the, this panel, let's say for example this panel, you can store this calibration data okay. into in, in, into one of the patch. So the next time when you want to measure, you just recall, you don't have to calibrate again. Okay. Why? Because it has this memory to memorize. And after you calibrate on this tube, you can also save it into another patch memory. So the next time you want to uh, measure on this uh, tube, you don't have to calibrate again. Alright? Right? Okay. You just need to recall. Okay. okay? Now, uh, how to do it? You just press this menu, this database. You press OK. Then you can just uh, recall from from this uh, memory batch. Okay, okay, that you actually stored earlier. Okay. So and the next one uh, you may you may need to actually uh, look into is actually the uh, the upper and lower limit setting. Okay. I I I uh, right now I do not have time to show you, but later on you should. Uh, I can actually show you more. Uh, probably I just brief you. Upper and lower limit. Uh, just now we actually measure about twenty something micron, okay. right? Okay. You may be able to set a lower limit, say twenty micron, okay. and upper limit at thirty micron. Okay. Any reading within this range, you will not, uh, you will let it pass. Meaning normal between sound or the sound. So the reading actually exceeded thirty micron or lower than twenty micron, it will give actually give a loud. Okay. Meaning you can actually pass it to the operator to use it. All right. Then, then. They can have a very simple guide uh, to do this a uh, fast QC. Okay. okay, right. So I think probably can uh, try it out to see whether uh, how this case is actually uh, 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 used. Okay. How do you find? Easy to use? Yeah, easy. So easy. Uh, get the average for the reading. Oh yeah. Okay. This is actually the average. You can you can view this immediately from here. Okay. Or if you think that this. This display is too small. You just press this statistic, and then you enter this. Ah, oh, uh, it becomes oh, larger. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, with this with this manual, uh, it will actually show you this variation. Okay. Uh, in terms of percentage, tell you how consistent is your this uh, result. Okay. The smaller is the percentage, the better is your this uh, evenness. Right. Of the coding that you have actually applied. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, how do you find this? Good, right? Think uh, good. Easy to use. Yeah. Excellent. We emphasize a lot on this uh, service. Okay. Now, within three working days, when you return goods from us for service and repair, okay. within three working days, we will, we will actually uh, reply you okay. Okay, and come back to you. And so the, so the problem is simple, we probably already solved the problem for you locally. Okay. Uh, more than 90% of the uh, 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 equipment uh, for this coding basis, probably nearly 100%, we can repair it locally. Oh. Okay. All right. Yes, yes and, we, and usually can be done within three working days. Oh, okay. uh, yes. three working days, and uh, we are giving out one year warranty. One year warranty. Ah, uh, one year warranty. Okay. Right. Besides, yes. um, just now when I see you, 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 you when you are using the uh, the gauge, uh, I see that you you use it happily. Yes. Uh, quite easy to use. Yeah. All right. Uh, but basically, I just want to find out. Oh, uh, where are we going to use it? In your production floor or in the QA QC room? QC. In, in the QA QC room, yeah. right? Okay, excellent. Now, uh, for this for this gauge, just now I've shown you the statistic. Yes. For sure, it helped you to save your time. Okay. Okay. Right. And the all the reading recorded, okay. you can choose to download it to computers. Okay. All right. With a with a simple uh, infrared interface. Okay. Okay. And this playback light. I know your QA QC room is always uh, bright, <laughs> but just in case your production people wish to borrow. Uh, this display light will have this advantage. Okay, nice. okay, okay. All right. And easy to use. Okay. Uh, easy to use. Okay. Um, and and most important thing is, you know, this this meter is actually from uh, uh, Germany. Okay. okay. Now, as you know, BMW Benz is actually from Germany. Yeah. And almost most of the items that made in Germany actually represent good quality. Yeah. Good durability mm -hmm. and also very important is reliable yeah. okay and and all this equipment right uh, used by many many customers oh, how many uh, I understand that you actually uh, uh, spraying paint on this panel okay. whose paint that you are actually using I think uh, Totten. Totten. Yes. 
they are using our gauge more than ten, oh. and they they not just use our our this uh, uh, gauges, they also recommend customer to buy from us. Oh. You know they have contractor and some customer they actually serving, okay. all right, and they will actually recommend them to get from ours. Oh. Why? Because it is reliable oh. okay. and accurate. Okay. okay, as you can see, the accuracy is actually one percent, all right. That is actually a one micron plus minus zero point seven five percent, which is actually less than one percent. Okay, but right. the smaller, so smaller is the accuracy percentage, the better it is. Okay. Okay. Right. So we have a large customer base. Okay. How large is our customer base? We have been selling for the past fifteen years. Okay. And almost every year, our uh, the number of units that we have sold to the market is somewhere around uh, eighty to hundred. Okay, for the past uh, for the past so many years, it's more than one thousand units actually in stock uh, being used in Malaysia. Okay, okay, and worldwide, of course, many many customers actually using it. Okay, so when you use this, you can you can be sure to sometimes when you when you when you show this gauge to the customer and, and then you tell them you are using electro visit from Germany, so they they feel they feel that your your gauge is actually providing a precise reading. Uh, so they have confidence in the okay, right? So this is uh, something that you need to actually consider uh, right. when you're actually making some decision to buy. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. uh, I do. Can I check with you um, how many units that you need for your, this uh, company? Mm -hmm. Maybe one. Maybe one. Yeah. Uh? Oh, okay, good. How soon do you think you need to use it? Yes. How soon? Maybe next month. Next month? Yeah. Okay. Just now, I really see that you quite like this gauge. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do you think I reserve one unit for you? Because why? I think in our stock probably right now got uh, two units. Ah, uh, okay, right. And and the moment we finish our stock, right, it probably will take uh, four to six weeks to come in. Okay. Ah, uh, I reserve one unit for you. I think uh, I need a one only. One only. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> one one is enough. Okay. Thank you very much okay, thank you. for your support. Okay. 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 Right. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Yeah. Okay.